<laughs> Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to Broly555 TV, and welcome back to my NCAA Football 07 series, which I've been doing for over a year now with my best friend, The Gravy Man. And this is the 2010 season, which is year five of our Dynasty mode. And we're off to a good start so far, me and the Gravy Man. In week one, of course, I crushed Clemson 86-21 when Clemson was ranked number 22. And the Gravy Man, in his first game without a Pat White or Nate Sowers type quarterback to lead the way, got more than he was expecting from UCLA. UCLA was tied at 42 with him. Yes, tied at 42 late in the third quarter, giving him an absolute fight, but then the Gravy Man's superior offensive and defensive talents kicked in, and he ended up winning 77-49. to James Taylor, in his first start in what will be his first full year as a starter, now that Sowers and White are gone, he went 23 of 36 for 487 yards with 9 touchdown passes and 3 interceptions and 11 carries for 30 yards. Absolutely amazing. I mean, the 3 picks you, you would like not to have, but when you start the season off by throwing for 9 touchdown passes in a game, well, you do what James Taylor did and you go from not on the Heisman radar to being in the top 5 in the Heisman polls, in the Heisman voting, whatever you want to call it. But the reason why UCLA was able to hang around is that Moline carried the ball 41 times for 280 yards and three touchdowns in one of the most dominant computer running displays I've seen in a long time. And this week, the Gravy Man will be playing Eastern Carolina on the road, which they're pretty bad rating-wise, as you can see, straight Cs. So he's going to wipe them off the face of the earth. I, on the other hand, have my Pac-10 opener at home against Stanford who won their opening game, but they're not that good. They're straight C pluses. So let's get into the action, shall we? Um, oh, that's a problem, I just realized. Let's set this to profile one. All right, there we go. So it's just Stanford. So I'll wear my default home unis, and they can wear that. Yep, straight default unis. Okay, now if you remember, not last year, but the year before in the 2008 season when Sam Brown was in his first year as a starter, I only beat Stanford at home 50-23 to despite being way more talented like I am now. So hopefully we can make this a much bigger blowout and get some time for Costa and the backups. And we'll see if we can get McDuffie and my starting two running backs going on the ground today. My third and fourth string backs are super duper fast, so I'm considering a tailback by committee approach at this point. I'll give the two back approach another try, but and just beautiful weather here for tonight's game between the Stanford Cardinal and the Oregon Ducks. Yep, number three Oregon, me. Season's underway, and these two teams are set to collide. And here come the Ducks. The Ducks are favored to win this game, but I think anything can happen today. Oh. Your thoughts. Oregon is led offensively by their quarterback, and he's the number one reason why I'm picking them to win this game. I look for him yep. to spread this defense out. And Had some pop-ups occur that took me out of full screen mode, but we seem to be going fine. Gotta bring your A game today. Go Ducks! Quack, quack, quack. All right, and my emulator is being a little glitchy today, but that's okay. It's not too bad. Hopefully it evens out as we go. Sometimes it does. Usually it does. All right, so here we go. So Stanford wants the ball first. That's fine with me because I like starting with the ball in the second half anyway. Oregon is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. All right, boys, let's go. He sends it off. Scales. Pass it at the five. There we go. Good job, Jenkins. So we'll get to see the offense come out of the field for their first drive of this game. Let's bring the heat, boys, just like we did against Clemson. 
And Brooks is my 91 overall defensive lineman, if I remember right. Got a really good front seven this year. And hopefully we can be as dominant as we've been. Oh, fumble! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! How the heck did they get a bounce like that? Come on, guys. Let's get loud again. We gotta bring the heat on D. Stanford goes with the ace set here. Jefferson drops back on first down. He throws left. Really? Wow. Come on, Marcellus. Oh, yeah. I just realized I forgot to make a substitution switch. Let me, uh... So, in the linebackers... Yeah, we need to switch Haley and Brown, so... I'm going to put Lake there right now. Brown, we're going to put Haley. And then Lake, we're going to put Brown. All right. And that should do it. I'll have to fix that uh, between games next time. I thought I had done it already. There we go. The Cardinal come out in the ace formation. There you go, Minucci. Come on, D. We got to be disruptive. We got to blow them up with a big tackle for loss or sack. The Cardinal are lining up with three receivers. Oh, Brown got in there right away. Sack. Hey, I called it. All right, third and 15. Let's bring the heat, boys. Come on. Get loud, Otson. You need to get freaky loud. With three wide receivers. Setting up play action. He zips it. Oh, no way. Come on, boys. We got to get a stop on D. Come on. He cannot give it up on third and 15 like that. Oh, my gosh. What is going on? Stanford's a C-plus on offense. I should be locking these guys down. There you go, Marcellus. Good tackle. And they were stopped for a minimal gain on the play. That was a sensational effort by the defense. They were all over that pass. Oh, nailed their quarterback. Pretty sure that's a roughing the passer penalty in real life, but... Seven yards to go. Yeah, what do I know? This is the eighth play of the drive. Drops back to pass. Let's it fly. Boom! There you go, Marcellus. Good tackle. Come on, D. Bring that heat. Yeah, there we go. Too much pressure for you, boy. Field goal is a W in my book. That may have been the reason that he overthrew the football. Stanford is looking to go up by three. He gets oh. up and they tack on three. Dang. Minutes. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. All right, 3-0 Stanford. Not worried at all. He got all of that one. As long as I don't have a bunch of turnovers, we're going to do work. Fields it in the end zone. Now we'll get to see how this quarterback can do today as he comes out onto the field for the first time. All right, let's see if we can get McDuffie going in the option. Well, guys, this quarterback on the field is the leader of this team, and I think he'll have a pretty good game today. I agree. He has a good or we just do this. When these guys give him time to throw, he's usually very effective. Kirk, we've said before how important this quarterback is to his team, and he looks ready today. Oh, hi. You want to give me a touchdown? Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh. Bro, that was your play. Open man. The defense got real lucky there. Yeah, they did. 
Someone either Second blew an assignment or got Ball beat because that guy was wild. Are you gonna get? Ooh, I'm gonna get a speed option. Oregon comes out of the shotgun. Brown options out. He laterals the ball. Good job, McDuffie. First down. At the 33 yard line. What a play! Just a simple option play here. The quarterback gives it up, and they Let's get see if we can get McDuffie yards. going on this play. I tell you, this is impressive to see this offense when they're clicking. Oh, yep, he's gonna get it outside. Line up with four, Ooh, line up. spirit fingers. Yeah. Ooh, la, 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 la. All right, let's get this going. You can do this, McDuffie. You're an 89 overall, and even though you're the slowest of my running backs, you're the most powerful and you're the best at breaking tackles. You can do this. It's a direct snap. Come on, McDuffie, you got it. Oh, that's like eight, nine yards. I'll take that. McDuffie. See if they'll give me the speed option again. Nah, it doesn't look like they are. That's okay. We'll just get into our audible. See if they'll go one on one with Brown again. All right, let's do this. Shake those fingers off. All right, here we go. He's looking to pass. He's looking. There we go. Wide open touchdown. Again. No screw up that time. Boom. Good job, Brown. That's how we do. Sam Brown. All right. So the kicker lines up for First the offensive possession, touchdown. Just the way I like to start. He makes the now Stanford has a bit of a swag to him because they went 9-4 and four last year. So they believe they're in for another good season and that they can beat me. Johnson is lined up to kick this one off. We scale has it at the five. He broke his ankle. Come on, people. Ooh, I'll take this. Holding, please. Clock clipping. Yep, I'll take clipping. That's a 15 yard penalty. Put you at your own. That one will put the offense in a hole, and they'll try to get some of that back on this upcoming. Put you on your own 13, 14 yard line. Come on, D. Let's hold him here. Stanford sets up in the eye. Boom! Big hit by Brown. That's a big hit right there, ladies and germs. Boom! Oh, get leveled. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 15-yard line. Come on, D. We got to do this. Stanford comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Jefferson hands it off. Jeez. What a run! Come on, D. Back in a little misdirection play, and you can see the athleticism and the ability to make guys miss. Nice play. Scale is the single setback. Jefferson to the air on first down. Oh, there we go, Marcellus. Good tackle. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just user tackle, by the way. That's me doing the tackling. Should have found somebody else downfield. Stanford goes with the ace set here. Steps up in the pocket. Oh, come on! Someone knocked that pass away. Move the chain gang because they just got themselves a first down. Yeah, the quarterback and receiver on the same. Come on, defense, do something. The Cardinal come out in the ace formation. Jefferson back to pass. Let's it go. He snags it. Boom! There you go, boys. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. We. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 43. The Cardinal are lining up with three receivers. Come on, D. They'll throw again. Defense has Intercepted by Long. Yeah. Way to beat your man to the spot, brother. Arguably the best safety in the country other than the two playing for the gravy man. playing on Sundays. <laughs> 
All right, let's get back to our speed option game. Is she going to give it to me or what? No? Are we going to play this magic game again? Oh, boy. Well, I got at least eight yards on the play. All right, let's throw the ball to a wide receiver today. Ball on the 47 yard line. They're calling an audible. Red one four. Brown steps back to pass. There you go, Jacobs. Good reception. And he is drilled at the 35 yard line. The defense was coming with heat on that play. Yeah, but the offensive line did a good job of picking up their assignments. That gave the quarterback enough. Let's see if we can uh, catch him napping. From the 35 yard line. First down. Oregon lines up in a shotgun set. <sighs> okay, here we go. Come on. Brown back to throw. Has it to the senior. Ah, that's okay. At the 30. And they get five yards from that completion. It's second down. Ball on the 30 yard line. Hmm. Oregon sets up with four receivers. Jeez, that guy came flying in untouched. And he gets a yard on the run. All right. Trying to change the play. All right, here we go. Back to pass. Looking, rolling out to the right side. Slings it. Good job, Jacobs. Way to catch that. At the 14 yard line. You know, it's really easy to overlook those guys on the line. Yeah, the defense came after them, and those linemen... Like next possession, I'm going to give Brown some carries. Down. They're inside the 20. Going with the shotgun here. Jeez. Take a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. They're in the red zone. The Ducks are lining up with three receivers. McDuffie gets another hand off. There you go, McDuffie. A pickup of about three. Second 11 seven. yards out. Ball on the 11 yard line. The Ducks come out in a shotgun. Do 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 do. Come on. Let's get to the edge, bro. They go straight to the back. Touchdown, Nick Duffy! Yeah, 11-yard TD run. Boom. There we go. Definitely going to give Brown some touches on the next possession. All right, two possessions, two touchdowns. Good progress. Boom. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Over two minutes two, remaining two, in the two, first quarter. Seven plays, 55 yards, 245 off the clock. Doing good so far. Johnson, ready to kick. 
Come on, Hudson. Let's get loud. There you go, Robinson. Oh, well, at least Sandy was there to clean up. I thought Robinson had that. That's okay. Come on, D. Stanford comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Walks this one out to the left, catches it. Jeez, why did he run all the way over there? And they'll lose a yard there. Third, they line up at the 22. Third down. Stanford goes with the ace set here. Jefferson drops back. Oh my gosh! Come on, boys! Gotta get a stop. That's a great conversion to get the first down. High formation here. Jefferson drops back on first down. Slips it short. Boom, there you go. Excellent open field. Good job, Robinson. Defense is all over that pass. Like glue. I'm telling you, this defense is tough. From their own, the 43 yard line. It's second down. The Cardinals line up with a single setback to it. He throws it. Really? Wow. Come on, guys. How about that pass, fellas? Well, Brad, the defense was coming with the blitz. And that opened some room for these guys to get open. Yeah, and if you're coming with the blitz, you better get to this quarterback. Otherwise, he'll make you pay. They'll bring in their dime package. Takes a hand off. Jeez. At the 25. On the carry. Picked up big yards there, and he's going to have a first down. Yeah, first nice job ten. there. This guy does a good job of reading his blocks and accelerating through the hole. The Cardinal come out in the ace formation. Again with a the carry. There we go. At the 24 yard line. On the run. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. From the 24 yard line. Second and nine coming up here. Stanford comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. He throws. There we go. Couldn't hang on to it. Incomplete. Schneider was the intended receiver on that pass. So that'll make it third. Come on, let's bring the heat, boys. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. The Cardinal line up with a single setback to it. He drops back. Moves up in the pocket. He's looking. Jefferson throws it out there. Jeez. Come on. Diving catch, my fanny. Come on, defense. You did a great job holding Clemson's elite offense, Dan. Why can't you stop these guys? Let's see if the offense can get points this time. Across the middle. Oh, great. Guys, this tight end has the potential to be a crucial part of this offense. Potential? Heck, I think he already is. You're right, Kirk. That's because he sells his blocks so well that the defense... I gotta figure something out on defense. For the extra point. Jeez. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. 14 to 10, me. Good thing I have the best offense in college football other than maybe the gravy mans. And this one's away. Bell takes it from the six. Well, I'll tell you guys, a passing game was sure on target during their last drive. And the quarterback had great protection by his offensive line. When he gets time, he could pick Let's the See if we can get Brown going. They'll on the ground. The Ducks come out the shotgun. And the snap goes to the back. There we go. It's like eight, nine yards. Brown gains around eight yards on the run. That'll make it second down. There we go. Second and two yards to go. I'll let the quarter end. 
The Ducks set up in the gun. All right. End of the first quarter. I'm up 14 to 10. I got to get figured out on defense. That's the only thing that's going to keep them in the game if I can't do that. All right. Let's see if they give it to Brown or not. Looks like they're going to give it to him. There you go. Good job, Brown. And the halfback ripped off a nice game there to get him the first. Hey, this kid's a good looking back. Let's see if they go to him again. Ball on their own 40. Stanford brings in the nickel here. Blue 19. Well, I think they're going to let me get away with this one. Oh, yes, they are. Uh, I think this is a touchdown coming up. Drops back on first down. He looks. Oh, no. Oh, come on, Brown. Make a play on the ball. Oh, my gosh, guys. Unbelievable. He doesn't miss many open guys like that. They line up at the 40. Second down, 10 yards to go. They'll work from the shotgun. Brown drops the throw. There we go. Good job, Fuller. First down. Tackles him at the 44-yard line. They call a receiver's number on the screen pass, and it results in a new set of downs. Yo, that play caught the defense totally off guard. By the time see if they get Brown another good run. It was too late because the big fellas in the old line were smashing into people downfield. Yeah, and the D better get ready out there because the last thing you want to see as a coach is your secondary taking on blocks by 300 pounders. Come on, guys, let's get this done. There we go, Brown. Nice run. A seven yard run by the running back. All right. Get the ground and pound going. About three yards. Oregon goes with the ace set here. <sighs> okay. Please block for Mr. Brown, and we'll all just get along. There we go. First down, Brown. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. Yo, nice run and good job to keep the chains moving. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'd be hard to keep them out of the end zone. It's first and ten. See, are they gonna? Uh, no, I think I'm gonna get one here from McDuffie. Lines up with five defensive backs. All right. Good job, McDuffie. Eight, nine yards. Looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. Mr. Scales didn't get the scales in his favor. <laughs> nine yards. They line up at the 23. It's second and one. Brown with three wide receivers. All right, please block for McDuffie, guys. He's going to get you that first down if you block for him. Oh, rip. Oh, really? Oh, thank God we got that. Come on, McDuffie. I mean, you're having a solid game so far, McDuffie, but come on. Is it somebody's birthday on defense? I don't know. Where are you going with this one, Kirk? Well, it's got to be somebody's birthday. Six. Because this running back is handing out presents out there. Either that, or he's doing his best to get benched. Now I got you, Kirk. Fumble. Birthday present. I got you. Ooh, that was almost a disaster. Brown, back to pass. Looking. Oh my gosh, they got me. I'm going for this one. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. 
Oregon lines up in a shotgun set. He's looking to pass. Look. And there's wide open field for Sam Brown to run. Oh, Sam Brown doing his Heisman thing. Touchdown, Sam Brown. Coordinator Fitz. He just made this defense look silly on that touchdown. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, we gotta watch this again. I was just going for the first down, but then this happened. Whoop! <laughs> Sam Brown. There you go. That's how we do, boys. Boom. And he hits the PAT. Over for six minutes. Two, 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 ten plays, 80 yards, four minutes off the clock. I like. That's the kind of drive you need. And it looks like they're ready for Now we just gotta get a stop on defense. Boom. Decent kick. Perry from his own end zone. And it looks like there's an injury. Down oh, down Leslie, no. Don't get hurt, bro. I need ya. Let's hope this guy can get back. Hopefully that's short term. They'll go to work at the point. Take over at the 20 yard line. First and ten. Jefferson. Boom! Big hit by Minucci. Oh yeah. Woohoo! Your ad here. It's second down. All right, let's get another stop, D. Come on, Hudson, give me a hand here. 120 decibels ain't enough. Give me more. Boom! Nice hit by Haley. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Come on, D. Yeah, that did not look pretty. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. And he's hit as he throws. Really? Wow. You got to be kidding me. Wow. Such bull honky. Once again, giving it up on third and forever. Jeez. My D's getting torched in this first half by Stanford. He makes the PAT. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. Stanford is ready to kick it away. Bell and Robinson back ready to return. He sends it off. All right, next time I get in that third and forever situation, I am calling a pass defense play. So their last drive resulted in six points. Do you think we'll see the same result on this one? They ran the ball extremely well on their last drive. And until this defense figures out how to stop it, I think they'll have no problem moving the ball down the field. This defense may have to move eight or nine in the box to stop this. All right, get up there, bro. They'll throw on first down. Surveys the field. He passes it. Yeah, Brown with the reception. I thought five was going to pick that. Oh, no, I was holding my breath. I was like, oh, gosh. There you go. Sam Brown strikes again, this time to Mr. Brown. The Brown brothers connecting. <laughs> Actually, I don't think they're brothers. The Brown boys are connecting. From Brown to Brown. What can Brown do for you? Oregon to kick this one off. Boom. He kicks it off. Perry from his own end zone. Now we see the offense come out of the field. And you know who's trembling right now? That defensive secondary. Secondary should be trembling. Oh, I lost him for the game. At least he'll be back next week. The Cardinals go with the eye formation. Boom, there you go. Way to get him. Ha, ah, they both were going to get him. And how does that dirt taste, bro? From their own 
Come on now. Second down. Stanford goes with the ace set here. Jefferson back to throw. Let's it fly. Boom! Nice hit by Haley. Breaking up the pass. All right, now this is where we gave up a touchdown last time. This better work. One man back for you. Jefferson drops back. He'll dump this one off. Boom, there you go. Fourth down. Take that. I'll take that. Now we're going to reestablish the running game on our next possession. Bell is back deep to return the punt. Punts the ball away. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I'm okay with this. More field to drive. They'll down the punt at the 13-yard line. Well, the offense is back on the field again in their last drive. Let's see if they give this one to McDuffie. Well, especially through the air on their way to that touchdown. Are they going to slide over and take it away? Ooh, yeah, that doesn't look good. Comes out defensively with six defensive backs. It's a direct snap. There you go, but McDuffie still gets the first down. There you go, bro. And he reeled off a big one there. This offensive line is built to allow this tailback to make plays, as you just saw. He's able to get into the open and create some excitement right there. First down. All right. Oregon using an audible. Oh, Fuller, you idiot. You went the wrong way. A four-yard loss. Ah, oh, great. Here we go again. We've got a second and 14. They come out with three wide receivers. I'll keep, hopefully that'll make that impact safety stay over there. Back to pass. Looking. He's going right. There you go, Jacobs. First down. At the 38. Good pick up by the receiver. Yeah, this kid loves the play. He wants the ball every time they pull it up. First down, 10 to go. Yeah, very interesting indeed. Line up with three wide. Cat 82. All right. Let's see where Mr. Blinking Safety goes. Brown on first down. He's oh, you're going to give him Brown again. Woo! Yeah, you people are dumb. <laughs> oh, boy. No one's going to defend him. I mean, someone who's got no prayer of covering him one-on-one, -on -one, you're just going to leave him out there? They'll line it up for the extra point. Boom. There we go. Splits the upright for the extra point. And That's three touchdown passes from Brown to Brown. Johnson looks ready to kick this one off. Boom. Oh, they got it. And they recover their own fumble. I'm going to tell you something. This guy has got to do a better job of protecting the football. Come on, D. High formation here. Setting up the play action. He lets it go. Got him on the run. Jeez. Defense was coming with heat on that play. He got so dang lucky on that. Good job of picking up their assignments. And that gave the quarterback enough time to throw a nice pass to pick up the first down. Boom! 
Brown gets another sack. Boom. Good job, Brown. I like the way this is going. I feel pressure. Just got to get home. The Cardinal line up with a single set back to you. Drops back to pass. He lets it go. It's complete. Boom, there you go. He's tackled in the open field. Nice little catch there, huh, Coach? Yeah, that was a good call. I like right. that call. Quite short passes. It was safe and can lead to some really good yardage. Scale. Alone in the backfield. Jefferson steps back to pass. He's going. Real, come on! Make a play on the ball! You could have knocked that down, dude. Picking up some major yards on the Jeez. Not be happy about giving up those kind of yards. Gosh. They line up with split back. They'll throw again. Defense hasn't stopped. There you go. He hung on to it, but he wasn't in play. Hey, Kirk, how wide is the football field? I think it's 53 yards. Yep, 53 yards, my friend. And he couldn't drop it in there between the sidelines. Look at all that green. Scale. Is a deep back as they line up in the eye. Scale. Boom! Get blown up by love. Yeah! On that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuff. All right. Let's this go back to Tampa because this third worked third last third time down. on third and 15, third and 16. Stanford sets up in the eye. He steps up, surveys the field. It yeah, good tip by Long. It should have been intercepted. He can't be thrown into coverage like that. They'll line up for the kick, and this is going to be extremely long. He's probably got the leg for it. It's up. Looks long. He got it. And the field goal is good. 35-20. Well, once again, field goals don't beat me, so. See if we can get a touchdown before the half and then start the ball in the second half and score again. Decent kick. Bell takes it from the six. Guys, their last possession, they really had good success passing the ball. Hey, gas me. I'd air it out some more. Hey, I agree. Make them show you that they can stop it before you change things. Oh, we're establishing our identity on the ground. Brought to you by Coke. The Ducks with four receivers. He broke his there we go, McDuffie. Way to make him miss. And they may need to hurry here. Well, you think so, but there doesn't seem to be much urgency on the field. Oh, you people worry way too much. From their own 31 yard line. Okay, so they're going to. Oregon comes to the line with three wide. Brown, back to pass. He looks. All right, time to go, Heisman. Oh yeah, Brown. There you go. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what. In today's game, you have to play. It's made this guy miss. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. Yeah. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46 yard line. Brown changes the play at the line. Brown looking to throw on first down. Oh man, he threw it. They can't connect incomplete. Reffing the passer? See a ref's hat down, and that usually means a receiver stepped out. What? Illegal touching on the receiving team. What? How? How? Why? Why'd you even throw that? It's second and ten. Ball on the forty-six yard line. Oregon lines up with three receivers. He drops back. Looks. Brown slings it. His receiver has it. There you go. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. 
We've got a first and ten. The Ducks come out in a shotgun. Brown drops back on first down. Good job, Jacobs. At the eight yard line. This wide receiver keeps the offense moving in the right direction by breaking the screen pass for a first down. Coach, as you know, quarterbacks love it when they have a wide receiver who can take a lateral pass and turn it into a big gain like this. I mean, not only is it an easy throw, but it looks great. And we get a touchdown for Fuller. There we go. Four touchdown passes in the first half for Bobby or Sam Brown. I think Bobby Brown's my running back. Might be the best play the book when it comes to yards after catch. There we go. Just what the doctor now ordered. For the extra point here. Boom. And he converts the extra point. Down to just a few seconds. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Wabuski. He sends it off. Perry from his own end zone. Fumble! Oh my gosh. How did they recover that? Wow. Very close to turning it over, but they'll keep possession of the football. Way to play heads up out there. That's just one. Come on, Otson. Let's get loud again. There we go. At the 30. Get six yards on the play. That'll bring up second down. They line up at the 30. And we got halftime. I lead 42 to 20, as expected. Got some work to do on D, though. It's been a one-sided affair. The score, Oregon, 42. Stanford, 20. I have outgained Stanford 452 to 282 in yards, outrunning them 151 to 1 in rushing, outpassing them 301 281 in the air. I've sacked them four times already, so I mean I'm getting pressure. I just need to get there more often. Stanford went five of eight on third downs. That's really bad for me. I'm one of two on third downs, converted my one fourth down. They have the game's one turnover though, an interception, and I have no turnovers, which is great, and I'm winning time of possession. Sam Brown is 12 of 14 for 301 with four scores and no picks and has four carries for 59 yards and a score. McDuffie is 9 for 63 and a score. And Brian Brown has four carries for 29 yards to go with three for 195 and three scores receiving. Fuller is 4 for 25 and a score. Jacobs is 5 for 81. We need to keep up the pressure on offense. And the teams are lined up to start the second half. That's what we need to do. Kicks off. Robinson fields it at the one. And now a slight break in the action hmm. as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. Let's see if this play will be open or not. Looks like it is. Direct snap to the back. Ah, oh, darn it. They predicted it. That was Number well defended by this carry. defense. No hey, that linebacker made a nice play. But what about all those big guys up front in the defensive line? Uh, they're doing a good job taking this one. Ooh. Maybe we can get this one. Let's see. These linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. Actually, let's not see. I don't like that. Sam Brown. Hold on to that ball, bro. At the 36 yard line. So that one goes for a decent gain. And guys, his running ability sure makes him hard to stop. No doubt about it, Brad. Whenever you have a fast quarterback like this guy, it just adds another. Ooh, we're going to run that ball. We're going to run that ball. The Ducks. Because we need to keep them off field. balance with the run. You guys better block for McDuffie, man. He reads all the help you guys could give him. There you go, McDuffie. Not a bad run. Five yards. All right, let's see if we can get Mr. Brown another good run. 
Second, Second down. Ball on the 41 yard line. Ooh, I don't like that look. Brown lines up with four wideouts. You guys better block for Brian Brown here. Because Sam Brown wants Brian Brown to get a first down. You guys got to block for him. There you go. Good job, Brian Brown. At the 48. And the run is good for big yardage. Good gain. And I think that's the exact same play they just ran. This defense better find a way to stop that play. And we're going to be watching them run this play over and over and over again. Uh, looks like Mr. Brown's going to have an outside run. Do, 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 do. Nine yards. Oh, almost, almost got the first down. They read the blitz and picked it up nicely. See if we can get a speed option look. They line up at the 38. Ball second down or a couple feet. Uh, no. Stanford lines up defensively in a 3-4. Come on, boys. Block for McDuffie. McDuffie there you go. He's taken down at the 34-yard line. They pick up another first, guys. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. Oh. They're getting very tired. Wait, where's that one play I used to run with Jay Will? Ah, here it is. It's first down. Brown lines up in the shotgun. Hmm. First down, look at the throw. Looking oh no. Right. Come on, Jacobs. Get it. Oh. A little too high for his receiver. When you throw the football into the end zone, you've got to be extremely accurate. You don't have any room for air. So it's second and ten. This is the eighth play of this drive. The Ducks set up in the gun. Brown drops back to pass. There we go, Fuller. Oh, way to break the tackle, bro. Oh, geez. First down. Ooh, the guy who tackled him got hurt. Tiss, tiss. Dazed and confused after that hit. And you know what? All the other guy got was a little paint on his helmet. All right, let's even get Sam Brown on the move. Old Spice red zone numbers. Red zone, when performance matters most. The Ducks are lining up with three receivers. Hmm. Burning a lot of time on this drive, which I like. Still the first possession of the third quarter. Brown drops back on first down. Oh, ho, ho! Sam Brown! Woo! Heisman moment. And a big gain on a quarterback scramble. Easy play there. The receivers run the defenders off, and all the quarterback has to do is run to the vacant spot on the field. And don't forget about the awareness of the quarterback recognizing the coverage and having the courage to tote it downfield. First down. The Ducks come out showing three wide. Complete. Oh, jeez. Didn't get anything. Hmm. On the six, going in. Let's see if we can get Brian Brown in the end zone on this play. Looks like we might. Oh my gosh, he guessed right. Darn it. Let's see how the offense handles this one. It's third and goal from the six. Brown with three wide receivers. Cut. 
Brown set to go to the air. Catch Good job, Jacobs. Touchdown. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Dee -dee -dee -dee. What an opening drive that was. So they're ready for the extra point. Boom, 49 to 20. That was a 12 play, 77 yard drive that took 447 off the clock. That's how you start a half, ladies and germs. I'll see if my defense can get a blasted stop. Woo! He puts it deep downfield. Scale from his own end zone. Boom! Get leveled. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. Let's take a look at the offensive production numbers. Brought to you by Coca-Cola. Stanford lines up in a double tight. Boom, there you go. At the 18-yard line. That'll be a pickup of a yard. Second From their own 18-yard line. Second down. Come on, D. Bring the heat. Stanford comes out with an eye formation. He drops back. Haley with the big sack. There we go, fella. Boom. Best linebacker in the country last year. Making his presence felt. Oh, Haley again! Oh, Haley! Sack, forced fumble, and knock that QB out of an injury. Yeah! Just when he had been quiet all game, he gets back-to-back -back sacks. Woo! The punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. Brewer punts it away, and this is just a beauty. Great kick. Yep, I will take all the yards so that I can burn more time off and the clock. It at the, 19. the run game was a big factor in this offense's last drive when they got down the field for a touchdown. The offense will take over at the 19-yard line. Oregon comes to the line with three wide. They'll run the option. Lateral. Oh, well, at least McDuffie got eight or nine yards. Eight yards. But it was picked up very nicely by that big old line. That certainly helped spring him free, Coach. All right, let's get Mr. Brian Brown on the field. Will they give him the edge? Or will they, ah, yeah, they rotate it over. But he might get right up the middle. He just might. Oh, Mr. Brian Brown. Nice run. How about that run by this halfback? You know what? When this offense can run the ball like this, watch out. They can score quickly. Watch out is right because now you got to worry about the run and the pass on defense. First and, first and ten. Ball, ball on the 50-yard line. Mm, this might work if my edge blocker does his job. <sighs> Establishing that run game with a forate. Yeah, there we go. Good job, McDuffie. Oh, no way. Oh, thank God. McDuffie fumbled twice. I do not like that. Oregon lines up with three receivers. Brown drops back on first down. Oh, no way! You little turd burrito. Gosh darn it. 
All right, now we're just going to go for it. It's second and long. They line up the 50 yard line. Brown comes to the line with three wide. Looking. All right, yep. You uh, get almost all of it back in one play. I'll take that. Up oh, speed option again. Lining up with three receivers. Brown running the option, and now he pitches it. Oh, really? Come on, man. Well, they get some positive yards, but this defensive line really busted through and broke that play up. Yep, great play by the defense to step up and force four catches. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Brown lines up in the shotgun. They'll throw for it. Looks, rolls to the right. He throws right. Good job, Jacobs. Way to bring that in. At the 13 yard line. Nice catch by the receiver. And that reception put him over the century mark for today. And you want to know something, Kirk? What's that? This receiver is the real deal. He's a great playmaker. And since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. When performance matters most. So their last red zone visit resulted in a touchdown. Let's see if the defense can hold them this time. Big dog, big dog. There you go, McDuffie. Nice run. That's now 100 yards rushing on the day. Brad, that's just hard nosed running, and it gives them another solid day at the ballpark. It's second down and about three yards. Six yards to the end zone. Oregon comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. All right, let's block for McDuffie, boys. And he gets in the end zone. Touchdown, McDuffie. 17 carries, 106, and two scores. He's done for the day. And we'll kick this extra point and then make the sub. Boom. And he hits the PAT. Just over a minute to go here in the third quarter. And the score, Oregon 56, Stanford 20. All right, and now let's get Mr. McDuffie out of the game. We'll put in Mr. Brown, and then this guy, and then this guy, and then Mr. Banks. And we'll keep Sam Brown in for a little bit. Oregon. And this is just a booming kick. Scales fields it in the end zone. Boom! Haley with the big hit. The defense did a nice job of shutting down this offense the last time they had the ball. The offense was not clicking at all. Let's see if they're back on the same page. Here's a look at the offensive production statistics brought to you by Coca-Cola. They line up in an eye. Throws it deep downfield. Really? Wow, that's bull. So what do you think of this receiver after that play? Quarterback made a nice throw, but it was the receiver who made this happen. Man. Great way to make a statement. Yep. I think I would start to double cover this kid. He's just too dangerous. Come on, D. Yard line. First down. Scale. Is the single setback. Boom! 55! Brown! What can Brown do for you? Got all these Browns on my team. I think that's Larry Brown, if I remember right. You got Larry Brown, you got Brian Brown, you got Sam Brown. I mean, what can Brown do for you? I mean, seriously. It's second and 15. Ball on the 44. Stanford sets up in the eye. Drops back to pass. He's taken off. Jeez. Go at the 34. 
from the 34-yard line. Come on, boys, bring the heat. Stanford lines up in a pro set. Play Boom! Love with the huge hit. Nice. End of the third quarter. I'm up 56 to 20. That hit was nasty. Oh, yeah. We may have given up some stuff today, but we're also bringing the heat. Yeah, you better punt after that nasty sack. Bell will be the return man. He gets it away. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The last time this offense had the ball, they ran it very well, and they put it in the end zone. We'll have to see if that's their focus one more time. They'll start this drive at the 20-yard line. Oregon comes out of the shotgun. Brown steps back to pass. He rolls left. He's under pressure. Yeah, that's okay. That's totally okay. Second, Second down. Ball on the 21 yard line. Ah, I see. Come on, boys, block for him. Brown hands it off. That's better. At the 27, Brown gets six yards on the play. That'll make it third down. Third down and three coming up. Ball on 27. I think after this possession, if I score a touchdown, I'll take Sam Brown out. He drops back. He rolls out to the right. He looks. He's taken off. Sam Brown gets 100 yards rushing on the day. The quarterbacks had no problem running the ball today. I'll say, in fact, that run just put him over 100 yards rushing. Yeah, he's been a force all day. The defense hasn't been able to catch their breath for a second, and he's running all over the place. Hmm. The Ducks line up with three wide. All right, Stagall, see if we can get you... First down. Well, you're too line. slow to stop me. There Brown, you go. <laughs> the 39 yard line. That is exactly why this kid is so tough to defend. You bet he is. He's faster than some of the receivers. Let's see if we can get a hole for Stagall on the ground. First down. They use four linebackers. Yeah, Stagall. First down. Pick up yep. First, guys. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. From the 29 yard line. First down. Ooh, yeah, I don't like that at all. Brown lines up with four wideouts. I'll try running up the middle. As soon as we get the ball here. They snap it to the back. Oh geez. Well, I didn't get the hole I wanted, but yard line. Brown comes away with two yards on the carry. From the 27 yard line. Second down, eight yards to go. The Ducks come out in the shotgun. All right. Get what we can out of this and then probably run past the next play. There you go, Brown. First down. Kirk, my friend, this is exactly what you want out of your back late in the game. The ability to keep the clock moving and continue to pick up first down. Yeah, Lee, no question. This is the time when you let him carry the team to the finish line. Another trip to the red zone. Last time, it resulted in a touchdown. 
All right, just keep burning the clock. Burning the clock. Oh yeah, we're burning that clock all the way down, baby. Brown on the run. There you go. At the 11 yard line. Brown gets six yards on the play. So that'll make it second down. Boo de doo ba doo boo boo. Stanford brings in the nickel here. I'm just grinding that clock for all it's worth, baby. And the snap goes to the back. First down. Nice run there. And I got to tell you guys, the offense is making things look pretty easy on this drive. Yep, the defense just hasn't been able to make a play. They could have shut them down a few times, but they just haven't been able to do it. Now it's time to step up. They're threatening inside the 20. Stanford lines up defensively in a 3-4. Just grinding clock, baby. Touchdown, Brian Brown. Woohoo! I'll tell you what, this has been a tremendous effort all game. Brian Brown's done for the day. This is one team that's been extremely well prepared. These young men have played about as good a game as you could ask. And they line up for the point after. Boom. He makes the PAT. Just over six minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Our score, Oregon. Ten plays, 80 yards, 345 off the clock. I gotta actually make my subs now. Uh, we'll put Sam Brown out for the game. McCollum, Lucas. And then we'll put Mr. Stigall and Mr. Bell and Mr. Banks and... Let's uh, put the... Uh, yeah, put Uh, should I keep my starting receivers in? Let's find out. Well, Jacobs might be done for the day. Fuller's not, though. Let me uh, actually go... Put Dupo there, and uh, Smith there, Williams there, and Whitfield there. All right. And we'll keep Fuller in just so we can get some stats. Boom! Decent kick. Perry takes it at the four. There you go. Guys, what do you think about this situation? Hopefully we'll see the offense move this ball up the field a little bit. Yeah, Coach, they really haven't had too much success today. But this is an opportunity for them to get their team back on track and build some confidence going into the next game. Great. With the play fake, he throws. Boom. Good job, Robinson. Way to close. Out of that. Second and their own 23-yard line. Second down. Back to pass. He unloads it. He snags it. That's a loss of four yards. I'm going to bring the heat. From their own 19-yard line. It's third and 14. The Cardinal come out showing three wide. The Boom, there you go. Fourth down. Doesn't get enough for the first down. Yeah, nice job of making a few yards, but they got to be disappointed they didn't make the first down. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Bell, the return man. Punts the ball away. Nail down the punt at the 26. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. Oregon lines up in a shotgun set. All right, got my speed demon running backs in. Let's see how this goes. Looking to 
throw on first down. Looking oh, you fool! Yeah! Oh, man, Bell. Seems like they've been able to do that all day, Coach. The defense was just sleeping on the play. When you let an offense come at you like that time and time again, then it's hard to win a ball game. Oregon. Oh boy. All right, I'll check that. Just text from my parents. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice run. Brought down at the 12 yard line. Boy, that was a nice game. He got drilled. Oh, I was surprised he hung on to the football. This kid is tough as nails. All right, let's go get another first down. In the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. When performance matters most. The offense got six the last time they were inside the 20. Let's see what they do here. There you go. And he's taken down at the nine. First down pick up by the tailback. You can see how comfortable this guy is with that football in his arm. First and goal. We'll see what they can do in the red zone. All right, Bell, let's see if we can get you out there. He may be blinking, but you're the fastest running back in college football. Oh man! I thought I could make him miss. I guess not. That brings up second and goal. Ball on the eight yard line. Bell lines up as a single back. Oh my. Look at that. The Blitz just threw off their blocking assignments. And that's why this running back is looking for his mouthpiece mm. right now. Third, well, it's third and goal. And they're 10 yards out. Costa is back in the gun. Oh, oh, really? Wow. Well, I'm kicking the field goal before anything else disastrous happens. This one from about 23 yards out. This will just add insult to injury. He gets it up. And you got it, 66 to 20. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Boom! Smith from his own end zone. A little shake and bake move. Do you know who's trembling right now? Well, it's not the defense. They've played well all game. Here's a look at the offensive production statistics brought to you by Coca-Cola. Come on, D. Let's hold him here. They finally benched their quarterback, and the backup's in now. Really? Here's the give, and they got to him before he could get back to the line. Great play, taking him down behind the line of scrimmage. Man, he shot out of his stance like a cannon and exploded into the backfield. Stanford sets up in the eye. They're in the eye. Gray off the fake, rolls right, lets it fly. Jeez, come on, Long, you gotta and knock that down or pick it. Everybody was fooled on that one. And that was a good job here by the quarterback. First that good play ahead. fake is a real well, weapon against a nine yard line. like this. You're right, Kirk. Those guys are swarming to where they think the ball is, then whoosh, the ball is flying over their heads. Setting up play action. He's got the fullback. And the big fellow with some room. 
at the point. Jeez. Come on, down. guys. It looked like they might have been on the play fake that time. Yeah, but you got to give the credit to the quarterback here. Not only does he show the run, but he delivers a beautiful ball. Come on, D. We can't give up another score now. Come on. I was about to brag about how great you've been playing this half. Drops to throw. Throws it out there. Jeez. So they go to the air and they pick up yet another first down. They've shown no problems moving the ball on this drive. This offense I'll take this one. Very well. And they're building some beautiful momentum along the way. Yeah, you're talking an awful lot of smack for someone who's down 46 points. The pressure turns up when in the red zone, and that's when you turn to Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters most. The Cardinal line up in an eye formation. There you go, Brown. Luke Sam or Larry Brown, I think is your name. It's second and goal. Ball on the yard line. Gray hasn't missed yet. Looks, he's rolling right. Wants to throw outside. Oh, Robinson almost picked that. Think he saw the defense on that. How does that kid expect to pick it off? He's got more tape on his hands than the heavyweight champ. This is what happens when you make Sam Brown, of course, is player of the game. No big shocker there. Plays for me. Gray comes to the line with three wide. Boom! Larry Brown again. Comes up with a sack. He really fought to get to the quarterback that time. And it paid off too, Kirk. That was his fifth. Boom, he was there instantaneously. He can get it done on a week-to-week -week basis. They better worry about him today. Fourth and goal. Stanford comes out with an eye formation. Boom! Minucci with the sack. Give me that ball back. Oh, fourth down stop. Boom. I like to see that from a team. It shows good discipline. Oregon in a four wide set. They snap it to the back. Come on, Bell. Nice run. With the tackle at the 45 yard line. I think this offensive line is getting better and better as the game goes along. And coach, I'll tell you what, I think they're killing the will. No, you're not doing push-ups on the field. But man, Bell's got some crazy good speed, man. There's no doubt about that at all. They line up at the 45. It's first down. Defense lines up in a 3-4. Stiegel on the run. Oh, Stiegel with the fake! There we go. And they move the chains once again. And that's what they need. Move the chains and keep the other team from getting their hands on the football. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 22. Lines up in the shotgun. Aww. Rember tackles him for a loss on the play. Loss of two by the halfback. Second it's second down and 12, 12 to go. Ball, Ball on 24. 24 yard Oregon yard. comes to the line with three wide. Yeah. Looks to pass. He delivers. Oh, Lupo, get it. Yeah, touchdown. Tell you what, Kirk, that was beautiful. These guys came to play today and they have played over nice. Well, no question, coach. Everything just fell into place out there, and nothing was going to stop these guys from getting the ball into the end zone many, many times. And he converts the extra point. So down to just a few seconds remaining here in the ball game and our score Oregon 73 Stanford 20 looks like they're ready for the kick boom he kicks it off 
Smith feels it at the three. Missed tackle. They've been getting walloped all day, but at least they're still working hard. I like a team that never quits. Let's take a look at the offensive production numbers. Brought to you by Coke. They'll throw on first down. He's looking for his man. There you go. Ball is tipped. You got to be careful throwing in the coverage like that. Well, Coach, I don't think it was a poor decision. It was just a great reaction by the man in coverage. That'll bring up second down. Second down. Come on, D. The Cardinal. Go with the I formation. There you go, Minaki. Is that how you pronounce it, guys? All right. Looks like it's the end of the game. I win 73 to 20 over Stanford. To nobody's shock. I look like my normal self today. Final thoughts on this game, Kirk? Well, I think intimidation may have played a factor in this game today. Stanford did not believe that they had a chance in this one from the start. You could see it in their eyes. You know what? Football is not just a game of brawn and muscle. It's a game that also requires a lot of mental preparation. These guys were not mentally prepared to win this football game. With the coach, Lee Corso, Kirk Herbstreit, and all the EA Sports team, I'm Brad Nessler signing off. All right, so 73-20, I win. I outgained Stanford 828 to 375 in yards of total offense. I had 35 first downs to their 18. I outran them 407 to negative 25 in rushing yards. And I outpassed them 421 to 400 in passing yards. My defense recorded nine sacks, while my offense only gave up one I held them to 5 of 12 on third downs, which included 0 of 4 in the second half. I went 3 of 6 on third downs. They failed their one fourth down attempt. I made both of mine. I won the turnover battle by forcing one turnover and having zero myself. And I dominated time possession by over 13 minutes. And then, if you look at my player stats, Sam Brown went 16 of 19 for 340 yards and 5 touchdowns with no interceptions and also had 11 carries for 126 yards and a touchdown. Nate Costa went 3 of 3 for 81 yards with one score and no picks. On the running side of things, we have Sean McDuffie carrying the ball 17 times for 106 yards and two touchdowns. And then Brian Brown had 13 carries for 104 yards and a score, and he caught three passes for 195 yards and three touchdowns through the air. Pierre Stegall had five carries for 50 yards. And Robert Bell, my super fast redshirt freshman running back, had four carries for 21 yards and caught a 52-yard reception. Fuller was held to 41 yards and a score on six catches. Lupo had two for 29 and a score. And that's my entire receiving stats. Defensively, Lee Brown had eight tackles, five for loss, including three sacks. We also saw Haley get eight tackles, three for loss, and two sacks. We saw Long have seven tackles and an interception and a pass deflection. We saw Kyle Minocci get six tackles, five for loss, including three sacks. We saw Mark Williams have five tackles and two forced fumbles. Love had five tackles, two for loss, and a sack. And Robinson had four tackles as well as a pass deflection. For Stanford, Ben Jefferson went 19 and 26 for 281 of two scores and a pick before I knocked him out with injury. Sacked him a bunch of times. They couldn't run the ball. The backup went 7 of 9 for 119. No scores, no picks. And Tom Johnson had four catches for 147 and a score. Fowler had four for 42 and a score. And you see all the guys in between who did pretty good receiving wise. But I win 73 to 20, so you guys can just take that buttercup. Hopefully you enjoyed watching me beat Stanford into the ground with a bruising running game by committee and an explosive passing attack led by arguably the best quarterback in the country, Sam Brown. 
Hopefully you liked that. If you did, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Leave your likes and comments down below. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to me on Rumble and Quarter. With that, I bid you guys adieu, farewell, and I will see you next time. Toodles!